We are live. What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Welcome. Join me. Let's make it happen. The market, my God, was it interesting today. After that massive move yesterday, was today expected? Well, at the end of the day, let's be clear here. Hindsight is 2020. Would anyone really know? Of course not. But was it expected? Of course. Anytime you get a pump that has, we haven't seen, I don't even remember a pump like this, in the SPY as if it was a penny stock, there was a high likelihood that a dump was coming today. So you already know, ready with the short on PLTR, and man, did it pay dividends. <laughs> PLTR, I don't think has dividends, I'm just saying. I just like saying that. So welcome, everybody. Appreciate you all waiting. Look at you, everybody. What's up? What's up, Sean? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Ready to go. Mr. Brian Garnier is in the building. What's up, Brian Garnier? What's up, everybody? Christian's here. Sean here. What's up, guys? Let's ready to rock and roll. So let's go. Just to give you the tickets we're going to go over today, I am going over every single ticker that you guys dropped on my Twitter. So whatever you mention on the Twitter, when I drop it, that's what I'm going over. So boom. So what are the tickers that we are going over tonight in the Portfolio Management Live, which is also the state of the market, which we're going to talk about the SPY. So we're going to start off with, let me, I'm going to give you all the tickers right now. I got you the SPY, S-O-B-R. By the way, just so we're clear, none of these tickers, I trade them. These are just tickers that were mentioned on the Twitter that I asked you guys to put in the box in the comments box. So that's what I'm going over, just so we're clear. The only ones I'm trading right now actively is PLTR, so boom. So we got SPY, S-O-B-R, N-U-T-X, A-M-D, D-K-N-G, Plug, Uber, S-Q-Q-Q, Webs, Amazon, P-L-T-R, P-E-G-Y, C-C-J, A-G-N-C, A-M-C, J-Blue. Oh, I'm forgetting one. I know someone told me to do T-Q-Q-Q. Why is that not there? All right, cool, now it is. So I am going over all these tickers tonight. So what am I going over? Is PLTR there? PLTR, let me do PLTR. Nah, I'll move it up here. What the hell? All right, I'll move it later. So that's what we're gonna go over tonight. So welcome everybody, what's up? Good to see everybody. Lester is here. What's up Lester? I was wondering when you were showing up to the live, Lester. My God, my God Lester, where the hell you been? I was asking about you. I was asking about you. Love the lower banner. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Banner is fire. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Yeah, I, I got it done uh, yesterday. I got it done yesterday. I've been dying to get it done. I was like, you know what? Let me. I'm going to be back on IG soon, so towards the end of this month. So I'm like, you know what? Let me create something at the bottom that will answer a majority of people's DMs to help out my DM lady, even though I'm not going to DM. But the girl, I got to do the DMs. So boom. All right, let's jump into the show. Let me drop on Twitter that we are live. Let me drop it. Let me drop it. And then... We're rock and rolling. Let's go. Um, let me give myself a like. Hey, okay. All right, here we go. Let's zoom in. We are live right now, everybody. We are going over the state of the market. Look at me. I look like a goddamn newscast over here. <laughs> we got people commenting, loving the ba they love the banner. What's up, everybody? All right, let's go. We are going over all those stickers. You see that? If you can, let's go. Pull up to the show. Let's go. All right, let me post this. And then we are going to boom and boom and three, two, one. It is being sent, sending tweet. All right, boom. That's it. All right, let's get into the show. Good thing this reminder because I don't want to miss it. Antonio, you know it. You know it. You know it. You know it. All right, what's up, Maimuna? How you doing? All right, guys, let's jump into the show. I, I like the new names I'm seeing here. Anis Azur Ar Arzika. Every time I pull up, there's always new names here. I love it. I appreciate you all coming on a Friday night. All right, let's get into the show, right? So let's look at the SPY. Let's look at the SPY overall. Let's move everything out the way. Let's have a conversation. So just so we're clear on the conversation of today, because I know there might be some new people watching. The new conversation of today is what is not... I'll cover PLTR when it comes to scalping. I'll go into PLTR. But the other ones, I'll go into TQQQ, um, and I'll go into SQQ. Those are the ones I know. But overall, when it comes to scalping, I'll go aggressively into PLTR. By the way, also, uh, seminar students, mentorship students, after this live ends, I'm doing a private live. So Sophie or Eric, DM me on Telegram. Excuse me, and I'll send you the link. Let me know, I'll let you know what time, when this ends, give me a few. Let me uh, get something to drink, clean up, and then we'll do the second live. So keep that in mind. Let the mentorship students know, someone in the P2C group chat. Let everyone there know I'm doing a private live for them on Zoom. Going over, you don't want to miss it. I promise you what I'm going to show you, you're not going to miss it. I've been having, this is the best, one of the best weeks. 
I've had praise God so much on this. Man, God is so good. Which is making me think. I, I had a conversation with myself, right? It was like, do I want the headache of going back on IG? But then I'm like, you know what? You hired someone to post content and reply DMs. Let's try it out. Let's go and see if I'll be happy there. If not, I'll be gone again. But I will create a secret IG to talk to the mentorship students. So let's see what's going to eventually happen when I get back. But technically, as, I, as, I, as I've been gone, I've been making more money trading. And let's see, I'm on track to, again, I need more time. You know, I need two more weeks. Let's see how this month closes to probably beat my record of the best month I've ever had in my life trading. So boom. So there you go. That's the update on the IG for those that DM me saying when I'm coming back towards the end of the month. All right, let's get into it. So the spy. Let's go. Here we go. As you can see, let's just look at the horror and ignore everything else for a second. As you can see, we are still trending to the downside. Yesterday was amazing. If you caught that move, God bless you. Again, for those that do options, I'm sure it was spectacular. However, it works in the options world. Your boy was just actively trading PLTR. No distractions, no issues, no headaches. I don't get caught in FOMO. I don't get caught in hype. I just trade what I see in front of my face and nothing else. I never traded AMC, GME, um, um, whatever else was the nonsense that was going on. If you made money on that, cool. I stick to what I like, which I'm good with, which I'm comfortable with, which my heart can handle. That's what's always more important than anything else. So remember that. Remember that. So the, like I said, the SPY is still on a straight downtrend. Right here. We have not broken it. We have not broken it. We get these little bounces. We get these little bounces. But overall, it ain't looking so hot. When do you want this to end? Let me be straight with you. You do not want the markets to recover anytime soon. You want a collapse of all of it. You want it to go down. You should wake up every day wanting this. But And the people like, I love, I love what the comments I get. But Professor, the stock market is manipulated. Real estate, real estate, real estate. Everything's manipulated. The real estate market's coming down as well. I said that for months. Same thing with stock market. You want it to go lower because the wealth is created when it collapses. The central banks control everything. We have no power over anything in our lives other than when it comes to one thing, trading. And I'm going to tell you why. The only thing, not your nine to five, even if you're a Lester's here, Lester's an entrepreneur. You already know if the government says you have to shut down because of whatever reason, COVID or the next virus, whatever, you have to shut down. The market will not shut down. The market will never shut down. You want it to be manipulated. You should wake up every day saying, I hope it goes lower. I hope it goes even lower because you can short it down, short it all the way down and get it cheaper and cheaper and cheaper as you short it at a more discounted price. You don't want to see the face that I had on as PLTR was collapsing as I had a very nice short going. Once it got below 798, ooh, I shorted it all the way. And that's and I got now when time comes, I'll get it I'll get more shares for a cheaper price to the to the upside. That's what you want. The central banks control it all. Yes, it's all manipulated, but that's a good thing. You can use that to your advantage. So remember that. Remember that. Let's get this as low as humanly possible, but I'm not going to try to sit here and tell you that all I'm trying to tell you is we are still on a downtrend as you can see We had this nice buy um, green bar right here a lot of volume for the buyers coming in but overall blood blood across the board Do not get too excited until this trend line is officially broken. So let's look further into this, right? Because I'm trying to tell you, if you've been trying to get wealthy, this is a t this is the time you will get wealthy. This is a time in the market where you want to. Not when we're making money. I'm mean, sorry, not when the market's going up. All right, here we go. So this was the thing I talked about. If you've been, re if you remember my tweet from months ago, talking about the market's about to do something really, really bad. This is it. This is the pivotal event right here. So let's talk about this event. This is the, the conversation right now. Is the state of the market as we speak? Looking at. I am looking at what color do I want? Let's go with white. This is the spy on the weekly time frame. As you can see right here, 
This is the 200 EMA. If you don't know what that is, if you don't know what that is, very, very simple. The book breaks it down. Fourth edition, for those that are not mentorship students, for those that are mentorship students, fifth edition, updated, breaks it all down. So again, just read down below at the banner. <laughs> read the banner down below. It breaks it all down very nicely. It breaks it all down. Damn, it looks good. Damn, it looks good. I gotta say, it's my first time using it today. You guys like the font? The bottom font? Boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right, here we go. So now, once this is broken, and I'll do an overview of the 200. The 200 EMA is one of the strongest levels of support resistance. When the candles are above it, you have a higher chance of going long. You have a higher chance of the candles holding and just going up, up, and away. But once it's broken on the higher time frames, it will really dictate what happens on the smaller time frames. I'm on the weekly. So if this breaks below it, daily will fall more aggressively to the downside and fall fa aggressively faster, same thing, to the downside. So on and so on in the other time frames as well. But if you wanted to get calls, even though you should do a micro call and do longer puts, once we get below it, check this, right? We are very close. Look right here. Look at this. This is, this is bad. If you're talking longs, if you're talking 401ks, if you're talking long-term portfolios that are already bought at the high points, horrific, horrific. And you might need to cleanse that portfolio and transfer money over to uh, stop specific plays that will work out in the long run. Especially, I know, and I'll ask in the comment section. Watch this. Be honest, everyone. Well, you guys are always honest. This is why I love my community of traders. Tell me in the comment section right now, in your portfolio, roughly speaking, and I know you know, and I know you know, how many are garbage stocks that you are sitting on that you should have cut a long time ago? What do I mean by garbage stock? Not Twitter, not Apple, not Amazon, not Tesla. Garbage stocks meaning penny stocks. Garbage stocks meaning garbage, uh, BS, green energy stocks that have nothing really, they're too future out. Meaning they'll probably be in a big mover way in the future, not as of now. Tell me in the comments, I, I love to see it. I love to see it, drop it, let's go. Drop it in the comment section. I wonder, I wonder how many. I'll read the questions I guess until then, until those come in. Hey professor, good thing is a reminder because yep, I answered that. I was trying to do short trade and couldn't make it. Lester, not right now. Not right now. Um, are you using Trade Zero? But you're coming to the December event. You're coming to the December event. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. I like the new look. Thank you, Sal. Hey, Professor, I joined the virtual mentorship last night. Yes, Ronald, I got the email. Congratulations, baby boy. Did you download the fifth edition book? Did you download the fifth edition book? I love it. I knew you would join. Praise God, I knew it. My four-year-old says you're watching your teacher today. I love it, you... Uh, uh, how do you say that? Jubel? Jubel? I love it. Savannah, have you, have you on my big screen and got the pen and paper ready? Savannah, I love it. Savannah, make a video. Make a video and send it to me. I love it. Best month? No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. It's not, the month hasn't closed yet, so not yet, but I am on track. Praise God. Great job. Thank you, Tony. Good to see you, Professor. My last PLTO entry was 752. Nice. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you, Savannah. Yes, scary. Um... Yes, I caught spy call above middle VWAP and wanted to a few candles. Made a small profit. Anyone who held any longer was gambling. Hey, Michelle, what's up, Michelle? What are you looking at? We'll talk. I talked about that. Hey, Professor, do you prefer Heiken Ashi? Yep, Heiken Ashi. 200, 2, 2, LOL, 0. Nice. I cleared them out two weeks ago. Nice. LMAO, 2, 2, 80%. Damn, Sean. Damn. Damn. Wish. 50%. Damn. Damn. Zero, because I listen to you and thank you. You're welcome, Savan. Yeah, I know. A lot of the mentorship students early on, especially if Christian Mendoza's watching, he was ahead of the curve. He literally sat down with me. I don't do those anymore if you're a regular. Please, so please don't message me. But if you're a mentorship student, I did that for um, Christian Mendoza before the crash. Got him out. I, I sat down with him. I said, Christian, pull up your portfolio. We did a one-on-one. -on -one. I only do that for mentorship students. And I looked and I'm like, garbage, garbage, garbage. He's like, Professor, you tell me, I'll do it. I said, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Praise God, man. I love it. Well, they became now pennies 13. Oh, my God. 13? Oh, now they became it. Diana. Oh, Diana. It's okay. I have trade zero ready. Got you. Got you. Lester, if you want, pull up today. I'll show you. But, but the market's closed. Oh, damn. The market's closed. It's hard to show you that. I sold all after the seminar. <laughs> and Jose, did it work out for you? Did it work out? It was a good move that you did that. Almost everything um, best. I didn't know better. It's okay. I need that new book about to reread the fourth. Oh man, talk about you when when time comes to reread, 
This is the reread right here, the fifth edition. The EMA is better on the weekly time frame. No, um, Anis, I hope I'm saying your right name. Anas, I'm just gonna say your last name. Arzika, Arzika, the higher you go, the stronger it is. That's it. Not yet going to this weekend, my man. You got time. The November seminar, we have a, we have a, we have weeks to go. Trade zero, you need 2,500 minimum. Yes, Adrian. So, Lester, do you have 2,500 minimum in there? I can actually candles were a game changer for me. I know a lot. My brother, I made 125 today because of your trading style. Haven't even taken the seven up, but that's coming next. I love it, Chris White. That's what I like to hear, man. You haven't even taken it, so that tells you. I'm assuming you read my book, you watched the free course, and you watched the lives. Look at that. Just from that, you've gained a level of understanding that my strategy works. Now imagine when you take the mentorship program, you go to another level. You get all everything completed for you, laser focused on only what you need to see, and you have direct access to me, not someone I'm paying to reply to people. You and I are like besties. So boom. Professor, do you use Haikinesh candles? Yep. I'll teach you, Ronald. You're coming to the seminar. I got you now. You're going to get the complete picture. Boom. Yeah, hell yeah. A thousand times better. Hello, I can sleep now. Yeah, Jose. You know how I feel now. Jose, now you know why you know our men mindset now. We might have the same similar mindset. To know that we don't have, we can go to sleep knowing that we're not getting destroyed in the market. Welcome to my mindset. Lester says, yes. Yes, I need the fifth edition. I just bought last week the fourth. Uh, Charlene Del Rosa, you got to be a mentorship student. So you got to wait till December. It gets released in December. So you have to wait if you're not a mentorship student. Mendoza, those private sessions made a big difference. Hey, Mendoza's in the building. What's up, Christian? Pav. Did you cast the spy moves, Professor? Crazy price action, past two session. Pav, what's up, baby girl? Pav, you know I don't trade spy. You know I don't trade options, baby. You know this. Why do you always ask me that question? Why do you always ask me that? You know I don't. I only trade PLTR. That's it. Um, how can I join the course? I already bought the book. Um, <laughs> Arzika, look down at the banner. The banner answers all your questions. Everybody, if you're watching me, look down here. It, it says everything you need is down here. I, I figured it out. Boom. Praise God to people that know how to do these things. I don't know how to do any of that. Everything you see in front of your screen, I don't know how to do it. Someone was paid to do it all for me. So boom. Yes, sir. I mean the mentorships. It's all down below. Is there a discount for the seminar anytime soon? I want to join. Adrian, it's about to sell out. So no, no. Uh, shares. Nice. No, no, I don't trade spy. I need to spy. So remember, Pav, my style, of, it's, it's like when I was on the news with uh, Benzinga News. All the guys on there were like, what the hell are you talking about? I don't know why option traders, I don't get it, I guess, but I'll explain it. Pav, remember, I trade the SPY. I mean, sorry, I trade PLTR, which is the mimic of the SPY. So if the SPY goes up, I have one to three seconds to react on what PLTR is going to do next. So for me, I cannot trade the SPY because I need the SPY as a crystal ball to guide me into my trade with PLTR. So boom, so boom. All right, back to the lesson now. I got that. So a lot of you are holding on to nonsense. As this gets further down to 200, let me show you. So for you to understand what I mean by this, I'll show you. Watch this. Again, this is a spy on the weekly time frame. Check this. Let me macro out, hold on. For you to understand the power of the 200. Can I macro out more? Let's see. Here you go. This is the SPY, the weekly. Right here. As you can see, this green line is the 200 EMA. When you notice, when it's above, it has completely rallied. When it got below, Bloodshed. Real talk. I'm going to show you, by the way, this is the conversation about the state of the market. And then I'll go into all the other tickers. If you notice right here, for a microsecond over there, a little bit over here, a little bit over here, this was complete and utter bloodshed. This is what happened after 08. This right here in the early 2000s. And this is right where we are now. You can go back to my earlier lives on YouTube or IG. I don't know where they're saved. IG, you can't because my IG is gone right now. But you can go back and look. I had this conversation. And I went over this before we got to this point. 
before we got to this point. Remember, I want you to use everything you learned tonight to help you reference this in the future. Because this will repeat itself in a few years. Once we rally again, we will come back to reality again. And I want you to make the inverse ETFs your best friend. That is one of my, from what I get as the DMs for the students that have this, they tell me that this is their favorite new chapter. There's so many new chapters. But the favorite new chapter, let me not show the tickers, is on the fifth edition, the inverse ETFs. I give you the top 10, my favorite top 10 inverse ETFs. When the market rallies, right now it collapses, use them as your best friend, of course. But when the market rallies, and then when the next collapse comes, this is where you can make even more money. So you're going to make money with, T I'll talk about TQQQ. That's the one I'm going to get into later. But once it broke 18, which I said it was going to happen, let's, let's ride it all the way back down. So point being, anytime we're above, we rally. Once we start getting below it, it ain't looking so hot. It ain't looking so hot. So let's, let's have the conversation, right? Let's go into it. All the times it's gone under. Right now we're going, we're not there yet. Look at this. Keep your eye on this. I'm going to go through all of them, okay? And then we'll talk about it. Right here, look at the bounce we got. This is why I was saying we are literally on a precipice of holding between destruction or success. It bounced in the past. Right, same here. Hit it twice. This could have been a reverse knock, knock, boom. But it didn't happen over here. Bounced. All the time, you can go back and check this out yourself, the weekly time frame on the SPY. Once it got below here, as you can see, right here, started going sideways. The 200 EMA, what did it become? What was the 200 EMA over here? Once it got below it, tell me in the comments. What did it become? What did it become? Go ahead, tell me guys. Once the candles are below the 200, let's see who's, who knows this. Why do we have 94 people watching and 42 likes? Let's go. Let's go. Yo, I'm not going to give you my analysis on Bitcoin or what's the top? PLT, no, PLTR, I'll do it. No analysis on SQQQ or TQQQ if we don't get 100 likes. Let's go. The 100 likes tonight. 100 likes. Boom. Let me know. Trade Dow, SQQ, TQQ, and Spy. I love it. Brian Grenier, man, you're the best. He's so funny. Funny guy. Pav, there will be some uh, games now in the market. Think opposite. Keep an eye on ZN futures. If they break, or they will save the lows. Thank you, uh, Pav, for that analysis. Resistance, 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 resistance. Exactly. Very good class. I love it. I love it. Imagine all of you around me in Puerto Rico. Yo, April. Uh, mentorship students, April, April, April. I only have five seats in the house. One for me, seven uh, in the mansion. Seven. One for me. One for Christian Mendoza. He won the uh, lottery, uh, the, the raffle last year. Who would, which one of the mentorship students will come with me for free? So, I'll, so five seats left. Imagine all of us sitting doing this. So pull up April. Resistance. Now it's struggled. By the way, this is the weekly time frame. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one, you could say eight. Eight weeks of struggle. Eight weeks of struggle. Once we are fully below it, get ready for you. You think you've seen some heartaches? You think you've seen some rats in the market? You have seen nothing yet. So again, you should wish for this. This is opportunities. How many of you, excuse me, have waited during COVID and you missed the massive moons when the majority of the market was at the cheapest prices? How many of you missed it and wished that could happen again because now you're cognizant enough you went and learned you got a mentor you figured out how to do it and now you were you're wishing for, to pull the trigger how many of you let's go how many of you every time there's a cluster when it starts going sideways on the higher time frame that's a good sign by the way you want me to tell you the future before it happens you want me to tell you the future before it happens understand the past Understand the past. It's a quote out of my book. Let's go. Let's go. Let me read it. Time to read the book, baby. Let's go. I know Renee's here. Renee doesn't like my reading voice, so I'll do my real voice. Wait, actually, no, I don't see Renee. So I'm going to do my reading voice, actually. 
Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? To understand the present and the future, you must understand the past. Boom, baby. So, what I'm about to do, you better record it with your phones. I'll give you 10 seconds. Take out your phones. Take out your phones. I want you to record this because out of everything I'm going to say tonight, it's fine. But the most important thing I'm about to say is right now. So get your phones ready and I'll tell you when to record. Um, hey, I'm going to Puerto Rico. Lester, I love it. Lester, sign up. Sign up. Sign up to live in the mansion. Sign up, baby boy. Sign up. All right. Me, 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 me. There you go. Eight weeks from what date? Eight weeks from what date? Charlene, what are you talking about? Me. I did good. Then I got some apple at 60. <laughs> Jose, Alameo, Neil. Blow up my 2K account learning. Adrian, you didn't learn the right way. I bet you just probably went from YouTube to YouTube to Discord to Discord. I bet. I bet. So now here it is. Ready? Here we go. When the candles start going sideways on the weekly time frame. When you start seeing wicks on the body, get ready. Get ready to start accumulating when you see this event start taking place. I am telling you what's going to happen before it happens in the market when it does happen. So you should have been recording that. This is what you're waiting for. And now for those who are like, well, Professor, how do I have extra confirmation? Wait for the side step green candle. The lesson is not about that tonight. But if you don't know what that is, everyone who has the book, go to page. Yeah, we got pages in the book now, baby. Go to page. Side step green candle is. Come on, bro. Page 80, 98. Page 98. The sidestep green candle. For those that have the book, remember, this is your digital class. I am your digital professor. This is your digital coursework. Everyone should have the goddamn book by now. I sold over 5,000 of these digitally. So come on, shout out to Bradley. So point, this is what you wait for, this event. Get ready. Not now, but I just mentally prepare when that day events. When that day comes, boom. So that's that, let's go back further. Here we go, again, same event. Same event. Is that not the same? Is that not the same? If, for, again, we've talked about this on a live a few weeks ago, where I told you exactly when to get into Matic and get out of Matic. I gave you the exact numbers and it happened. What I am teaching you is actionable. It can be used, this is not a theory, this is not an experiment, it's actionable that you can execute it tomorrow with proper risk management. Of course, if you don't know what you're doing, if you're watching and you're not a mentorship student, you need proper risk management. You need to learn from way more. This is not enough. But mentorship students, you know what I'm talking about. This is the event we wait for. So keep, again, I'm going to show you more. Let's keep it going. Here we go. Man, y'all, I'm telling you, y'all better pray to God every night for this to happen. I, if you don't believe me, we did the live on this. It's called the best ETF live. If I'll talk about this later, by the way, if TQQQ, the ETF, the three X leverage of the QQQ falls to eight bucks, I'm buying a hundred thousand at nine. If you get that opportunity, we broke 18. I believe it was 17 something last time I looked, but if we go, we have, let's, let's hope for more again, not hopium, but what you want this, you want to pray for this. If you put in a hundred thousand at eight bucks, sorry, nine bucks, and sell at the highs of ninety-one or nine, I don't care if it takes a year. I don't care if it takes two years. That's a million-dollar trade. Profit would be nine hundred thousand dollars. Think about that for a second. You went from someone that just had a little bit of money. You did nothing for it. Parked it into a good ETF, and it rallied. I don't. I, again, I asked this question. So I'm not going to ask again. Who wouldn't mind a million dollars in a year, two years, three years? I don't care how long it takes. You did nothing for that money. You just put a little bit in and it accumulated by 10 X. So you should be wanting this to go further. The market is there. If you want to short it for the scalp traders, 
Options traders puts on deck, put season all day. Boom. So now let's go back to this, right? So if you look. Right here. Wait, hold on. Once it gets above, yes, it rallies. And I'm gonna teach you how to catch this, by the way, as well. I'm gonna teach you how to catch that. This can happen where it gets above the 200. What's wrong with my handwriting today? And it could still fall. And fall pretty bad. Go sideways again. Mini sideways. The longer it goes sideways, the more chance of it exploding. As you can see, I'll show you in a second. But this study, once this live is done, go on trading view pull up the spy weekly and study how it happened before look at the charts be like why to do this why to do that why to do this and then go look at tickers in your portfolio what what they did at the same time you can do split screen if you don't if you don't have if you have the free version you can't split screen it but boom 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 wait let me ask some questions i haven't been looking at this comment section hold up Villa Mania erased their message. Okay, please analyze SOX. Uh, Barn, if it was in my Twitter post, I will. If not, no. I'm only analyzing tickers that were in the Twitter post that I posted yesterday. That's the rule. So, no, if you didn't listen, then no. I'm here now, boss. I love it. Paper trade starting out, bro. That's what I'm doing. Chris, do it for a month. Don't paper trade for more than a month. Then move over to one share. Eight weeks were red. What was that? Charlemagne and I passed that away. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, it works every time. Listen to man. Thank you, Sal. Doji Candle. Can you repeat that? I wasn't looking at the comments, Christian. I don't know what you wanted me to repeat. Do, do we get a digital copy if we purchase the hard book? No, Sean. Only mentorship students get the digital copy of the fifth edition for free if they get the hard copy. Only mentorship students. No more. No, no we're not doing any of that. Brian, 17 now. But I uh, wrote to SQQQV early. SQQ, SQQTQ. I love it. 17 now. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Definitely not a buyer above 18. Definitely not. Let it fall. Let it fall. I'm looking at nine. My target is nine. Um, I had a really good day today with SQQ. Nice, Bajal. Well, majority of the people were fearful and were like, no, no, no. You're like, I had a good day today. That's what I like to hear. Covered call season. Okay, Sal. Um, boom. Accept calls on SQQ. Nice. Wow, I get it. I'm glad. Matt. I struggle with the decay on TQQ. Uh, in other words, if you have a 3% up, then 3% down has a major impact, and then 3% up. Got you, Matt. Yeah, I can't comment, Matt. I'm never going to pretend like I know what the hell options is or time decay. No, I, I don't. I, I understand. I, I understand your frustration. That's why I don't do options. But I get it. Sorry, I don't have Twitter. Um, You're going to have to go get it, baby boy. My Twitter, IG, website, everything is down under me. So I don't have to repeat ever. No one can ever act dumb and say, we don't know how to find you. Bro, I'm Googleable. Just Google day trade professor. Professor, do you have any paper trading videos? Uh, yep. Yep, yep. In the free course, Ronald. I'll just rewatch the live later. Thanks, professor. You're welcome, Christian. All right, cool. So now, and the rally after a massive sideways movement. Let's go. Do we have any more? Let's look at this one and then let's move on. As you can see, same thing similar pattern by the way once it gets below the 200 you notice the red is massive we are at that precipice right now where once we fully break the 200 you and go we're gonna fall fast and hard be ready for it be ready for it. it's gonna be glorious it's gonna be glorious glorious so boom 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 so that's that so now by the way i want you to pay attention to the parallels here here will it fit it's not going to fit the screen all right i'm just going to try my best then i'm just going to try my best
Look at the similarities right there when I circled. I know it might be hard to see, but I can't fit it. It's too far away. It went below, above, and drop. It went above, then below, sideways, and then went up. You gotta learn the pattern, the stages of the market, the four stages. Stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. If you don't know what I'm talking about, everyone, pull up the book. Pull up the book. What page is it on? I swear to God, like I'm back in college days. I love it. I've always, I never thought I would have this. Have my own book. All right, page 41. I'm in the fifth edition, so I'm just talking about page 41 of the fifth edition. You see the chart at the bottom? That's it right there. You gotta learn that. That's really gonna help you understand what's about to happen before it happens. Boom. All right. So now I've said my piece. Let's go back. That was the state of the market. Gave the history lesson, economics lesson on it. Now we are here. Let's look at it on smaller time frame. I want you to pay attention to one thing. And then I'll move on to the next ticker. It's the last thing I'm going to comment on the SPY. All right. When the candles are above, below the 200, EMA, what color are they? I want you to notice that. Go, look at that. When the candle is below the 200, what color do you see the most? When the candles are above the 200, what color do you see the most? I want you to recognize these patterns in the candles for you to see that, oh damn, I wanna take a call today. But wait, I'm below the 200, it's on a downtrend, Maybe I shouldn't take a call or maybe, Matt, what is it called when you take a contract a month out? What is that called? A month out expiration or a week out expiration? I don't know. What is that called? Tell me, Matt. Matt, I, I know you're watching. Diana, I know you're good into the options. Maybe you two can help me because I don't know. Uh, Bajal went from 58 all the way to 63. Bajal, that's nothing. Remember when I did the live on SQQ on IG? It was 30 something dollars, girl. Boom. Oh, I was talking about shares, not options until you got you. Come on, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button. 70. We got 118 people watching. Shout out to you guys on a Friday. Yo, I'm not going over some of the tickers if I don't get 100 likes, y'all. It's on you. It's on you. Matt, data eats away. Okay, God, I don't want to talk about options. Is this the spy? Yes, Neil. Sal, everyone always tries to put fear in people when the market falls. So nice to hear someone talk it up. Hell Yeah. When are we going to understand, everyone watching, Sal, appreciate that, that there's literally, you want this, man, I can't keep repeating myself. You want the fall. You want this. You should be praying for it. I wake up every day. I saw, I, I was with my dad uh, two days ago, yesterday, two days ago. He's like, the market, my 401k, oh my, oh my dad, you want destruction. You want this. He's like, huh? I'm like, you know, I gave you the lecture already. You know I told you that this is where the money's made. So I gave him the lecture on TQ. I said, how much money you got sitting around? What you got? And he told me that I'm like, listen, I'm going to tell you when I'm going to buy TQQ. I'll tell you exactly when to buy it. You'll be fine. Take it easy. So I'm, I'm helping him hedge against his own a collapse of his 401k. Do you see what I'm talking about here? There are ways you can help yourself. Yes, majority of you with 401ks or whatever your in, in retirement packages are, are probably bloodshed devastated. We're going to build that up, baby. We're going to build that up. So boom, that's why spreads are better in terms of theta decay. Oh God, I don't want to get into that. But thank you, Diana, for helping with that. Below red, above green, red, green, leap, leap, okay? What's up, professor? Give my baby, <laughs> give my boy some likes. Thank you, Julian. What's up, baby boy? Swing, swing on options, monthly, swing on options, okay. Monthly, monthlies, okay, monthly, swing monthlies. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I just bought your book and I'm working on scalping. I'm struggling with entries. Any advice would appreciate. Thanks. Kyle, once you take the free course, read the book. The next step is the mentorship. That really completes it when you live trade with me. If you take the November seminar, then you have access to me for December, which is only for mentorship students to live trade five days next to me in New York. That's I'm going to be straight. That's the real way to learn. 
I'm just going to be straight. No Zoom, by the way. No Zoom for December. Very soon, I'm going to get rid of the Zoom. So let's see how I play that. Let's see how I play that out. Leap is usually six months or higher. Okay, monthly option. What's up, Matt? Look at Matt back in the chat. Matt's been busy with the Discord. He's in some options Discord over there. Enjoying that life. As long as he's making money, I'm happy. Hit that like button, folks. Thank you, Ronald. You can take zero dates, weeklies, monthlies. It, it, it is a month out a leaps. Yes, we are praying for a liquidity crisis. Yeah, Pav, you know it. The fall is best. I love it, 100%. You should add financial advisors to your laundry list of job titles. <laughs> Sal, yeah, you see that down below? Educator, hell yeah. Trader, you know it. Author, baby boy. And investor, 100%. My guy, my graphic design, like, what do you want to add there? I'm like, what do I do? Those four things in order. All right, let's go back. So now, if you notice, once we get below... I don't even, the green, you see the opposite. But as you can see, bloodshed. Make shorting, make inverse ETFs your best friend in this market. Don't worry about your long term. What's done is done. What's done is done. If you want to take quarter profits weekly, 50% profits and, and dollar cost average into good tickers, into good tickers that you think are good, that you're down massively on, and you want to lower your dollar, you want to lower your position on that, okay. If you want to take, again, you all should be doing that. Taking profits out weekly and going and buying something. You should. You'd be like, but I don't want to. Bro, do it. It will help your mindset. Trust me. Trust me. It is just numbers on a screen until you use them. Then it makes you more um, attached to it. You want to feel that it's a tangible thing. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy the profits. Enjoy it. I was telling myself, how do I celebrate this week? And I'm like, I don't know how to celebrate this week. I, there's nothing I want. I was going to get chocolate, but I forgot to get chocolate. And cookies was too far away. But boom. But boom. So point being, this, that's what you need to understand. All right. So that's it. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. We are not looking good. As I said, bloodshed across the board. What you want. Now I'll end with this. And then I'll go into everybody's favorite ticker that you told me to go into. I'll end with this. I mean, end this conversation of this market update. This is what you ultimately want to wait for. I'm going to give you the scenarios when the market, you'll see that it does much better. Because I am saving this live. Ooh. Sideways? That's option one. I'll say option A. Because I don't do options and I don't want people getting confused. What, options? Option two. This is the 200 EMA line. No, let me do better than that. Come on. Come on. What am I doing? I can do better than this. I'm making the future line. Even though it looks like my VWAP line. And now the next thing. When this event happens, wait for it to come back, load, and then see what happens. This is option B. These are the two events you should look to when you think that every, when you see the chart, like, oh, is it ready to rally? Boom, 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 boom. Keep that in mind. So there is my breakdown of that. Nothing better than a spa weekend. Yo, Sal, you know what? Valid. Valid. I might as well. I might as well do a spa weekend. Shout out to you, Sal. You know what? Okay. I'm going to look into that. Let me see my schedule and see what's going on. But shit, I should do that for myself. I should do that for myself. All right, let's go into it. I did that when I published my book. I did a seven day spa retreat. You know what? That's not a bad idea, Sal. Take the profits and do that. Shit, that'll be good. All right, let's go. Let's get into the tickets. The tickets. The tickers. Uh, I'm going to start with SOBR again, just so we're clear. I really want to preference this so no one thinks these are my tickers. These are tickers that are called in my Twitter post when I said, what tickers do you guys want? Out of all of them, the only ones that I know for myself is TQQQ, PLTR, the one, that's the one I only trade. I only trade that ticker long and short. SQQQ, that's it. What else? J Blue, I used to back in the days. But other than that, just so we're clear, the rest, 
I'm just gonna give you analysis on it. What's it sitting on? How's it going? Boom, boom, boom. All right, so let's get into it. So now, SOBR, let's go. Daily time frame. Oh my God, it's a, it's a garbage penny stock. All right. All right, I'm not gonna waste too much time on this, but the first ticker is, let's go. Let's start the conversation now. Let's get into everybody's tickers that they gave. The ticker is S-O-B-R. Is this hard to see? Hold up. Is this color hard to see? No, it's not hard to see. I can see it clearly. All right, cool. I can see the color clearly. All right, let's go. So S-O-B-R, as you can see, you already know. this. It's a garbage penny stock. That's number one. Number two, I don't like anything that has wicks like this. I don't like it. I'm on the daily time frame. You already know it's a, it's a it's a pump and dump. It's a garbage one. I don't like it. I just don't like it. Number one, it looks like it has zero volume. Let me confirm that actually. It looks like it has no volume really. Yeah, one million shares bought and sold. Garbage. It's a garbage stock. Maybe the person who posted it, maybe they're stuck in this position. As you can see, let's go more recent. Ever since it got below the 200, it was stuck in resistance here, struggling. Struggling here in the 99, 98 cent mark below the dollar. Then it broke out for I don't know what reason. I know nothing about this stock. Just want to make that clear. And now, as you can see, the lecture I gave on the 200, it is now stuck under the 200. So the person watching this that dropped it, who told me about this ticker? You know what? Let me call out names. Let me call out the names. Hold up. Not now. So I, I feel like I can have a personal conversation with the kid. This is B-O-X-R, S-O-B-R, where's B-O-X-R? Who told me B-O-X-R? Where is it? Is my Twitter glitching? Oh, S-O-B-R, here we go. The person's name is Najesh. Najesh, if you're watching, baby boy, this is a garbage stock. It's stuck under the 200. This would be very bad place if you wanted to buy. If you're messaging me because you wanted to buy here, bad idea. Dollar cost average here, bad idea, because it could get rejected. If you want, if you're going to want to buy this, and whatever the case may be, buy it above here. But my suggestion to you is, again, because you didn't, I don't know the full story of this ticker for you, stay away from it. It's garbage. Will it rally one day and do a pump? Yeah, yeah, sure. All of them eventually do. But it ain't worth the heartache. It's much better opportunities out there than a garbage stock like this. That's all I have to say. And if you really, because I swear to God, every time I call a stock garbage, y'all DM me saying it's not garbage. Look at the, look what it did today. It did it one time. It pumped one time. Look at this. Here. Here, bro. Here. This is the entire history of SOBR. Here we go. This is the entire, this is the monthly time frame. As you can see, garbage. I'm done with this conversation on this stock. All right, next one. NUTX, another penny stock. Who the hell was this? Was this the same person? NUTX, yep. Sober and, and, and nuts. I made a little over 7,500 this morning. Shout out to you. Using price. Oh, so this was a trade. Oh, okay. If it was a trade, praise God. Praise God to you. But also garbage. Look at this. Look at this. Let's go to the daily. Yo, talk about a rally. Look at that. Above the 200, look at that. God damn. This thing went from, shit, I wanna see what this did. <laughs> this thing went from $4 to $52. God damn. God bless the pump and dumps. You know, it's funny, I always think about that. The people that were probably bag holding all this time, and then they saw this. Imagine you bag held that. And then you, you were holding it at like 80 cents and it went to $50 and then you didn't sell <laughs> because you thought it would go higher. Hands up. Yo, tell me in the comments. Would you do that? Would you do that? Tell me in the comments. If you held on to a penny stock that was like 80 cents for weeks and weeks and weeks because you back held. Let's say you had five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 and then you woke up the next day and it's $52 and you're 80 cents or whatever. It's probably worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Be honest with me. Be honest. How many would you sell immediately? How many would hold thinking it's going to go higher? Don't lie to me. 
Don't lie to me. Tell me in the comments. Tell me in the comments. And I'll read and I'll read the other comments. By the way, my hair is a mess. The helmet here, man. The helmet today. And then I took a nap. I took a nap today. It was a very good nap. I swear to God. What a nap today. I don't know how I got such a good nap. Nothing better than this. Okay. Leaps are usually contract. Professor, good to see you live again. Always great vibes. Thank you, Storm. Pray thank you for coming and watching. Without you guys, I wouldn't have a show again. It's all thanks to you guys. It's all thanks to you. Um, full of good ideas. I don't smoke or drink, but I'm sucker for spas. <laughs> thank you, Shazel. Hanesh. Yo, Professor, it's 2 a.m. here in London, and I'm locked in. Love the levels. It helps so much. You're welcome, Hanesh. Hanesh. SOBR is dead. It is. Lots of garbage. 100%. No Bitcoin today? Maybe. I don't have... I don't see... If I get 125 likes, I'll do Bitcoin. What do you consider good volume? Depends on the ticker, but two, three, four, five million, depending on your levels, depending on how you trade. Slow movers, fast movers, medium movers. Depends. Boom. Professor, what is free flows? Why is that so important? Baby boy, you can Google that. Remember, if you can Google it, don't ask me. If you can Google it, don't ask me. That's, that has to do with penny stocks. I'm um, sorry I'm late. My son had football. No worries. You can rewind it later. What time frame are your bread and butter? 1, 5, 15. I always have, a, I have, always have goals. Always. You know. In the moment, Professor, it's different. I know. I know it's different. That's, I'm asking though. Think about it. I know. Come on now, Professor. I was so quick as hell. Sell, sell, sell. Me, I sell faster than hell. Nice. I did that when I didn't know how much and hell. No much and hell. See, exactly. See? Savan said it. If you don't know, you would hold. Like, oh my God, it went from 82 cents to $50. It's going to keep going. I'll sell all sell. I'm running out of there. <laughs> those many stocks crash fast. Quan, those that know that, know that. Some really believe their penny stocks are going to be like Amazon. Remember, Amazon was a penny stock at one point. Imagine the amount of people that held Amazon, traded Amazon, and then wished they had Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Uh, sell all. I'll sell after bag holding for sure. Her hundred percent, Nancy. Thank you. So cool. You're welcome. The old me would hold then, crash and burn. The old you, Sal. The old you. These days, I've learned to take profits, my man. I got uh, got me one hour massage today to celebrate me not over trading, ending the week green, small but small. I love it, Storm. I love it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm probably gonna have to check my schedule and see if I have nothing planned. Might as well head out for a three-day spa weekend and not trade Monday. I had such a good week, not trade Monday and just spend the time at the spa or maybe trade at the spa. I don't know. I don't know. It is mentally taxing. Uh, I would hit Kramer sell button. <laughs> oh, people are so mean to uh, Kramer. They're so mean to him. I know now to sell. Well, Team Nasty, I like that. Now I know. By the way, the 122 people watching and I'm seeing the same names coming on the comments. That's messed up, 122 people. Some of you are watching that I know are my enemies. Shout out to you, enemies. It's okay. I know you're learning from me, but I know you'll never give me credit. I know. I know. I, I know what goes on in your little side conversations. My, my old friends. <laughs> my old friends. It's okay. It's okay. Don't even want to hit the like button, but it's okay. Selling that immediately and probably put a little, I mean, little like little like to shares of profit back in just to find out. Oh, look at you. Stoop, stupid vision. Missed the vision over there. See that? No, no good right there. All right, what would I do? I would sell and short half the position. I'm going to be straight with you. I will short half the position. Boom. All right. This ticker, let's go, is... Let's go. Complete and utter... What the hell? It looks just like this, yo. What, what ticker does this look like? What? Penny stocks don't usually follow it, but... What ticker? I'm on the daily time frame. What ticker does it look like? Tell me in the comments. Tell me in the comments. Hit the like button. Thank you, William. Yeah, yeah. If y'all don't want, listen. If I don't get 120, I ain't doing. I ain't doing Bitcoin. Professor, does Weeble have the PDT rule? Ronald, every uh, brokerage has the PDT rule. Every brokerage. Professor, will you continue to? Will you continue to be blessed? Professor, you will continue to be. Oh, thank you, Cap. Praise God. Um, hello. Is this where I come to learn? Please help, <laughs> Melanie. <laughs> Yes, welcome to your digital class. Please read the banner below me. Everything is down below. Spy, spy, spy. Haters are motivators, big time. Nancy says spy. I'm not commenting, but I'm not an enemy. Hello, we brothers and homies. I know, Eric. Hit the like button, spy. I hit the like button as soon as I got here because I knew it would be a great life. Thank you, Jeanette. Spy, spy, spy. There you go. This looks just like the spy. Crazy, 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 crazy. 
Usually we don't get that. All right, I'm done. This stock is garbage. Nothing to say, nothing to tell you. It's garbage. We're done with this stock. All right, next one. Yo, why do I keep forgetting to bring water here? I don't get it. All right, next one. AMD. Wow, have the mighty have fallen. Wow, have the mighty have fallen. As you can see, the good times always come to a close. People, if I could give you one lecture tonight, I give you many lectures, but if I could give you another lecture tonight, by the way, the head and shoulders, head and shoulders pattern right here. All right, so if I could give you a lecture today, go look at your favorite stocks, PayPal, 300, AMD, high 100s. They always come down. Everything that you think will never come down comes down. Remember that. Everything you never think comes down will come down. Keep that in mind. Nothing wrong with taking the profits. Once you start doing it, it feels so good. Let me tell you, this whole week, as, as volatile as the market was, it feels so good taking your profits. How good does it feel when you t hit sell and then it falls right after? How good, again, I, and I know the other side of that coin is when you sell and it keeps going up. <laughs> That's painful too, but you wait for it to eventually rally, look at the candles, look at the indicators, and wait to short it back down. So in a way, you never really missed anything. In a way, you never really missed anything. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. All right, AMD, let's talk about it. All my levels are broken. I've never traded AMD. This is probably for somebody I did, maybe on a live, I don't know. But all the levels are broken. As you can see in the past, this bad boy loved consolidating. Let's change the color. This bad boy was consolidating. It loved the 72. 72 was its favorite number. As you can see, this is the $72 mark. Once that strong level of support was broken, which was above 200, by the way, bloodshed. Once the 200 EMA is broken, bloodshed that is what you see yo i like my view count on youtube yo y'all are gonna make me not go back to ig shit i really don't want to go back anymore i'm gonna see if i'm gonna check it out for a month let me see if my ig person the dm girl i hired does a good job the guy i hired to post my content does a good job i might just leave again i might leave every other month post because i do miss posting content i have hundreds of 160 reels i need to post that i have that i love posting but let's see what happens you guys are giving me like, these numbers are good. I'm happy with these numbers. Oh, we got 100 likes. All right, all right. Once I get 120 likes, then we'll do Bitcoin. But appreciate you guys. But point being, my God, I love it. I love it. So now, AMD ain't looking so hot. Now we're free falling. Once you break the 200, I'm going to call it free falling. Look at that. Damn. The last time this bad boy was under the 200 was April of 2016. April of 2016. Look at that. Look at that. Sacre bleu. The mighty have fallen. It is holding now, as you can see, on support. You don't see the line here, but I'm going to make it very simple for you. Anytime you see a cluster of candles, God, why do I not remember to bring water? But I always get thirsty. I stand here talking for two hours. When will I see? This is why I need an assistant in house. When, eventually, eventually. When I get married, I'm going to freaking get an assistant in house to handle all of these things too for me. I swear to God, I should be like, yo, baby girl, can I get water? And I get water in my hands. That's why I need to get to that level. All right. As you can see, it's holding here. Why? Because in the past, when it fell, right here as well, it held for days on end at the. <coughs> 55 level so boom so boom but i wouldn't say be a buyer this is not the conversation if you're here to say should i buy some more baby boy the market is collapsing we're in a bear market right now no one nobody's asses should be buying anything long term if you want a dollar cost average at key points then yes if that's the conversation a little bit that's a different conversation yes but for you to understand the risk is too great the risk is too great if you thought something couldn't fall I was talking to someone the other day. I was telling him my game plan about TQQQ. I go to him. I'm like, bro, I'm going to buy 100000 at 9. And if it goes lower, I don't care. He goes, but it could go lower. 
Why nine? I said it's uh, the support is at eight. One of the strongest level of TQQ is eight dollars, right? So I'm buying a dollar above just so I can secure my entry. He goes, what if it breaks eight, goes to seven, six, five? I said, I have this, I can handle that drop. I can handle that drop. And yes, I'll be down tens of thousands of dollars. Yes, but I can handle that drop. I know how much I can handle your, what is it called? Uh, stress tolerance. For example, if I would buy, um, the ticker that I'm looking to buy is TQQ. If I buy it at 18, I can handle the drop from 18 all the way down to eight. That's a $10, I can't handle that. So that's why I didn't even buy a single share of TQQ. You have to understand what your uh, stress tolerance is. So boom, boom, remember that. Always remember your mindset means more than money any day of the week. What you make in the week you think is impressive, but what damage are you doing to your mind? It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Especially options traders, man. God bless you guys. I don't know how you guys do it with implied volatility and freaking uh, time decay and the theta went up and this went up. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you guys can mentally handle Y'all are some strong mother effers because I ain't doing it. I can't do it. I don't know how y'all do it. I really don't know how y'all do it. it. To me, that's like a whole nother animal because there's so much against you. It's like, it's like going in a ring with Muhammad Ali or Mike Tyson and not even a boxer. That's what I think of options traders as. Shout out to those consistent option traders. They need to get some kind of award. So point being, there's your situation on AMD. Boom. All right. Am I good? That's the weekly, yeah. All right, next one. D oh my God. Sal. Am I looking at Sal's stickers? Hold up. Photographic memory. AMD, DKNG, plug Uber. The next four tickers are Sal, my brother from Long Island who lives a town away from me. All right, Sal, I got you. Your four tickers are yours. Sal, talk to me now. I want you in this conversation. I want you in this conversation. I want you. Are these your swing positions? Sal, be honest with me. <laughs> Sal, is AMD, DKNG, plug Uber your... your um? Um, swing position long term, or are these your scalps that you're doing on a regular? Boom, answer that for me while I answer some of these goddamn DMs. I mean, comments. Damn, y'all flooded the comments out of nowhere. Sheesh, I love it. Okay, damn, I really gotta go up. Okay, how to use volume bars? Do you use certain baby boy? That's another conversation. Okay, okay, I guess you're new, maybe, so it's okay. I'm not gonna blame you, people. When you come to the show. I need you to read the title. The title is right down at the bottom. Portfolio Management Live State of the Market. That is it. Please stay focused on what I'm teaching. Do not go off on tangents. I go off on tangents. You don't go off on a tangent. So that's not the conversation for today. That's not the conversation. AMD is close followers despite yo, 100%. Semis are hurting bad, 100%. Keep a small fridge there with some water in it so you will not. No, but y'all, I know I have a fridge. It's one of the, one of my living rooms. I have it, but it's all the way over there. But my water filter is on the other side of the house. It's, on the, it's a whole other issue. What goes up comes down. Yup, lost so much money in AMD. Christian Damar, Damar, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You know, it's AMD. It's not like it's a penny stock. Paying out. That's my stock. AMD keeps paying out. I love it. I love it, Julian. What goes up must come down faster. At what? At that question is when will it rally back up? When the market rallies. Profits are key. Stock takes stairs up, elevator down, hell yeah. That's why shorting is such a blessing. YouTube is far better than IG. YouTube is better. I know, me too. I like it better. I like it much better. I'm much happier. What setting you got to automatically have them levels when you pull up? Uh, Jord, no such thing. I, I made those levels. Your IG is awesome. Thank you, Bridge. I found you on IG. If it wasn't for IG, I would have never been blessed with your content. Yes, that's where my power lies. That's where I have over 70,000 followers. My videos do well there. That's where my power is. I don't have any power on YouTube. I only have a few thousand followers. I didn't take profits in the hundreds on AMD, but I don't want to sell here. I got you. How many likes for karaoke? <laughs> Stop it, Eric. Cluster demand area, so get reaction. You are at that level. My dog gets my... Where'd it go? I just lost it. My dog gets my water or beer. That's a good trained dog right there, Sean. Go get a water, professor. Trust me, we'll wait. No, it's okay, Christian. It's okay. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm going to try to fight it for as long as I can. And then maybe. Um, 
I'm micro dollar cost averaging in Bitcoin just in case sitting. Okay, Christine Fire. What's up, Christine? I got an AMD of five dollars uh, years ago, but never sold. Why Skyrim? Because I didn't know you live and learn. Damn, Sal, at five dollars. Praise God. What's your what's your testicular for? What the hell? I ain't answered that. Kev, Kev, be, pro be proper. We closed the contract in one day. Hmm. You're better than me, Sal. That's why you trade options is not by looking at the options chain. Got you. Ulta, Melanie, you got to post it in my Twitter next time. I'm not doing it here. I'm from Westchester. Oh, I thought you were from Long Island. Long-term hold, long-term hold. Professor, once you do it with 100,000, you will never look back. 100%, big man. Amazon, like going into the ring with Muhammad Ali. 100%. I hold three of those, Sal. LOL. One of your living rooms, how many you got? Let's not get into that. Sal, I hope you've been doing puts and covered calls on AMD. He does do covered calls. All right, back to this. So now so now that I know this is Sal, AMD, DKG, Plug, Uber is his long terms. So let's have the conversation. Wow, what ticker is this? DKNG. Shout out to DKNG. As the market has been collapsing, DK, I am looking at DKNG on the weekly. This bad boy has been doing very well. It has been holding above the $10.60 mark very, very nicely. Shout out to whoever got this at this price. I, me, so when we, let's talk about ethics, I guess. For me, ethics, I've never gambled. I'm not a gambler. Man, I can't believe people are, you know, making gambling group chats and telling people um, what things to, to me, that is the most ins insane thing I've ever seen. Society is like headed towards a cliff. It's weird. How the hell do you think someone knows what, who's going to win what on football or basketball? I find that fascinating. So for me, I would never trade DKNG because I'm against the gambling community. I'm not a fan of it, nor do I want to be part of it. But it is holding very nicely. I don't know why. Again, I could care less. I'm just here looking and giving you the charts, the technicals on this. It is holding very nicely on the $10.60 uh, mark. It, it went up above $16.56 hit the massive resistance at 1957 and pulled back down. Now it looks like it's going back at 1060. So if you wanted to get into this 1060, again, I don't want, I wouldn't say, why would I don't want to promote it. So I don't even want to tell anyone to get into it. Should I make a new rule? No tickers. I don't believe in. Yeah, it's my show. Yeah, I'm doing that from now on. Tickers. I don't believe in. I'm not doing them. So Sal, I ain't doing gambling stocks anymore. I'm against that. And I don't even want to talk about it or promote it or even mention it. But unfortunately, I've already said that this is actually a very good place right now. Because as you can see, again, I'm gonna pretend like this is not, you know what? I'm gonna pretend we're not even talking about DKNG. I'm just gonna give a lecture. Forget it. I don't wanna promote something that Jesus wouldn't promote. All right, here we go. So now, as you can see, this, this right here is the ultimate chart you wanna keep your eye on when the market is ready to rally or ready to go, go, do good. What do you see here? And not just sideways for like two, three days. Days on days on days. This is a very good sign. This is a very good sign. Boom. Boom, boom. Sal, every stock that's something wrong with it. Sal, I agree. I agree. But I have no problem with it. I, for example, I don't care PLTR, data mines, data tracks, government contracts, watches over, all that stuff. I could care less. I don't care. I don't have an ethically thing wrong with it. I don't have an ethically thing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Boom. I, I don't, Jesus is cool with that. I didn't have that back then, but boom. What was Jesus against? He was against the alcohol, so I'm not a fan of alcohol stocks. You know, I'm not going into um, that lecture right now. I ain't going into that. All right, but point is, this is the ultimate ticker. Ultimate. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, because it's football season. Ah, thank you, Melanie. The gambling season. California has it on ballot. Bridge, you can't gamble in California? I was watching something on TV and their parents were saying how their younger kids are addicted. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. My students were telling me they were doing it. I said, are you out of your minds? Are you out of your minds? What is wrong with y'all doing this? I'm like, well, you're better off doing stocks than uh, freaking gambling. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right, there you go. The gambling season is hot right now. There you go. I don't follow sports. I could care less. 
I could care less. But point being, it's looking good. This is what you ultimately want. It looks good. All right, I'm not. So Sal, from now on, do me a favor. Don't mention G DKNG. So boom, I'll, I'll do any of your tickers, but not I ain't doing the gambling ones. So boom. All right, let's go. Plug. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right, Sal. So as you can see, again, devastation, devastation, devastation. Yo, I swear to God. You tell, tell me you can't sit down, get a mentor, and truly learn trading the market? Look at this, for God's sakes. If you notice, I've left the 200 EMA up there. As you notice, there's a common theme here. The market has a very simple formula. Up, down, sideways. That's it. Baby boys and girls. For God's sakes, God's sakes. Well, everyone should be on the book. I think, what did I say? Page 89? Yes, the new books will have pages on it. I didn't think it would even... Not 89. Sorry, not 89. Here we go. In the fifth edition, page 41. For the love of God, if you haven't gotten the damn book, get the goddamn book. Y'all are crazy if you come to my show and are not reading... People, look. Look at this chart. Look at this. That formula right there is right in front of your face. That formula right there is right in front of your face. This is what you need. This is what you need. For those saying, oh my God, I, I can't afford this mentorship. I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't come to New York. The book is your crutch until you do come to the event. The book is your crutch. Remember that. Remember that. So as you can see, it was doing very well as of now. Plug is not the place to be. It is holding and this candle is super bearish to the downside. This candle is super bearish to the downside. So watch that. This is not the place to be right now. It is on a downtrend. So what do you need to wait for? This event to take place. This event to take place. So boom. Boom, boom, boom. So that is plug. A key level to watch would be the $14. But again, just wait for it to go sideways. As you can see why it's holding there, if you want a, a deeper analysis. Why is it holding here? Because it held here, held here, held here. Remember what I told you. Clusters. Clusters. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. For those of you that are going to watch my video and then jump to six, seven other YouTubers or influential people, you're wasting your time. That's not the way to do it. That's not the way to do it. The way to do it is stick with this every week, twice a week. Boom. This is your class constantly. For those that want to know what if you're new, because I see the numbers keep going up, shout out to you guys. Down below, just follow the, the banner that is going under me. Just read that. That guides you. Guides you. Boom. All right, let me answer some questions. Yo, you guys are on fire with the comments, man. Shout out to you guys. Holy moly. I've never seen so many comments before. All right, let's see. I think D. Kenji's been holding because five weeks into football season. Boom. I'm not a big gambler. All just like sports in generals. I would hold. But since you're taking the seminar, I learned to take profits. I love it, Miguel. I would have held. But since taking the seminar, I learned to take profits. My man. My man, I'm so happy to uh, for stay here. Welcome, Miss Treka. Uh, Sal's ticker are the perfect example. They are. Sal's tickers are perfect. Um, let's hit them likes for the, this free content, everyone. Thank you, Final. Um, I got the book and the ETH. Shout out to you. Yes. Once you get the physical book, you also get a physical Ethereum coin. Boom. And I signed the book and a personalized message, but those are only for mentorship students. I did that for the fourth edition. My God, what a bad move I did. That took that sucked up all of my life. Professor's book is my drawer next to my Bible. No joke. Sha, Sal, send me a picture like that. Covered calls on DKNG and plug all day. Nice. I had shares and plug. How far would plug go? Trust the professor. Thank you, Jose. I'm done channel jumping. My man, Ronald. My man, Ronald. Ronald found me a week ago, uh, two weeks ago, and look at that already. I love it. I love it. Looks like a good options play. Boom. 
How much is the book, Bravey Boy? Everything down below. Follow down below. Everything will guide you there. My website's right there, but you can get the book. There's my Twitter. My IG is down. I took it down myself. But you got access to me right there. Now there's no excuse to saying, how do I find you? Looks like inverse head and shoulders. I'm new. Watched a few videos. My first live. Welcome. Where'd you come from, Final? I'm riding with you, Professor, for the long haul. Got the digital book last week. It's the real deal. Thank you, Ronnie. Bob, now, when am I... When I am getting my eat, when you get, <laughs> Bob, no, when you get the physical book, when you get the physical book, when you get the physical book. All right, let's go. So now let's go. Next one. Next ticker is Uber. Let's see how I haven't seen Uber's chart in a long time. Let's see. My God. All right, let's get rid of these notes of mine. Got notes here. Notes on deck. Notes on deck. Come on, almost there. All right, here we go. So as you can see, not looking so good. It did the same thing again. Sideways, up, sideways, down. Shout out to you again, Sal. What a, what a banger of a ticker to enforce the four stages of the market. Man, why do I have to keep going back to the book? What page is it? Why do I not leave the page open? Yo, bro, let me just rip it out. I have the fourth edition right here. Let me just rip it out the book. Uh, here we go. Let me just rip it out the book. Here we go. People, right here. The four stages. Sideways, up, sideways, down, sideways. Same right here. It's literally here. You saw me jump through tickers that are not even mine, breaking it down right here. Right here. Boom. Boom. Let me just leave it right here because I keep pulling it, talking about it anyway. So as you can see, let's look at it. Let's go a little further into this. I'm on the daily time frame. Whoa, 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 whoa. When did this happen? Holy cow. This went from 23 to 28 and then all the way to 31. Whoa, whoa, what a move. What a move. I know GP, his biggest position is Uber. So Gerald Peters must have loved this. I hope he took profits here. My God. My God. All right. So it is holding right now. Let's, let's zoom in. It's holding above the 24 mark. The 24 mark is a strong level of support for Uber. It is a strong level of support. So boom. So it is holding. But again, just keep in mind, and we got the, the reversal candle all happening over here. But again, the market is not in a good place. Just keep that in mind after every word I say. We're not in a good place right now. So boom, 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 boom. But these stocks are not going anywhere. Just keep that in mind. Uber is not going anywhere. Um, what's the other one? AMD. Plug? I don't know about plug. And DKNG, well, all you need is the government to vote saying we're banning excuse me, if the government becomes conservative in the next few years and say, no, the gambling sites are hurting us, this, that, the third, and they ban it, DKNG would collapse overnight. So, boom. But Uber is not going anywhere. So there's that. All right, there's my and, S let's go, SQQQ. All right, God damn it, I love SQQ. Let's have the conversation. All right, I got too many lines. Let's get rid of my lines. There we go. Wait, I need the indicator. This is the inverse ETF, the SQQQ. Right here. So this is on the weekly. As you can see, it's been going up, down, up. Let's see what happens. Now, Here's the interesting part, either a good thing or it could become a very bad thing. Let's talk about it, depending on what your outlook is or how you want to see things. As you can see, it has touched this level of resistance. If this gets enough volume, enough buying pressure, 
We are breaking through and going wild on this bad boy. Again, I don't want to give the wrong number because my IG's down. I can't go and check. But if someone watching remembers, it was roughly 30 or 40 bucks when I did a live months and months ago. And I remember Sal commented when I did the live and it was 30, 40 bucks. Sal, Sal, photographic memory. Sal goes, damn, professor, I wish you did this live sooner so I could have been trading this. Sal, it moved 30, 40 bucks at this point to the upside. You had way more than enough time. Same goes for right now. If the market falls more, if the QQQs fall even more, you have something to hedge against it right here. So now I would be careful buying here because we have rallied for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight days of a rally. I'm talking long term. Scalping is a different conversation. This thing is a mother of a stock when it comes to scalping. And I'll talk about this one because I like this one. I like this one. This thing, when it moves, woo, it moves so fast. I am not a fan of it. I'll do it like once in a blue. But overall, I'm not a fan of it for me my because it moves so fast. I blink and I'm like, huh, it, did it just move 50 cents? I blink and it just, it's, just, it's so fast. The volatility on this is no joke. So now, point being, if you wanted to get into this long term, not right now. It's moved up way too much. The risk is too great. You have to wait for it, for it to break resistance. All right, so now let's go to the smaller time frame. So this bad boy, where did it go to pre-market? Come on. Pre-market, it went to 56. And then when it opened, it went from 59 all the way to 64. Do you see that? Sakai Blue. Do you see that? And now, let's talk about this. You want a very good sign here? Let's see who's been paying attention. If you look at this chart, what's the first thing you notice? Tell me in the comments. What's the first thing you notice? I'll move out the way while I read some comments. How can we figure out if these stocks will go back to all time or even higher? Sal, no one knows that, but that's something you must learn. Uh, Bridge, thank you for the, I got the fourth edition. Appreciate it. Looking forward to going to New York in the future. I love it, Bridge. Professor, please, I need legends in Portuguese. Professor, please, I need legends in Portuguese? I don't know what that means. I'm sold on your style, Professor. Blessings to you. Thank you, Nancy. I feel like Nancy Pelosi's watching me. Damn, I shouldn't have said that name. I know the algorithm. I'm not allowed to talk about her. Sakreblu. Professor, did you see my question about a swing trade with TQQQ? Thoughts? Storm, just ask me now. I'll talk about TQQ later. The GOAT. Thank you, Bodega. Thank you, uh, Professor. You're welcome. Professor is an amazing teacher. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, Sal, earnings were good. Then recently it pulled back because of bad news. Got you. I found you when... Where'd you go? I found you when I stopped watching crypto traders and look for someone who's actually teaching and not showing off their Lambos. I don't have a car, by the way. I don't even own a car. I'm grateful you're on YouTube because I'm not on any socials. Final, go get yourself a Twitter. Go get yourself a Twitter and then go make an IG just for me. Just for me because soon I will be transitioning back to IG. You don't want to miss the lessons. Just make one for me. GP isn't selling until 60s. Huh. Okay. Not showing off. Yeah, there's no need for that. Nobody cares. Once you understand, it's a marketing ploy. I've already understood that many moons ago in my early career. I already understood that that's not the way to go. It does nothing. It does nothing and it brings the wrong kind of people. It really brings the wrong kind of people. I don't want those people. If that's, if that's what your impressions are, I don't, I don't even want that group. Remember, it's all marketing with the Lambos and the jewelry and stuff. Stop looking at the negatives of DKNG. State love the revenue. And we know it's all about the money. Yeah, I know. I know. We're becoming more and more liberal. The liberal policies of getting, give me, how can I get more money for the state's uh, balance sheets? I know. Love the professor. Love you because from, uh, love you. What? Your boy Danger. Oh, what up, Danger? What up? He's coming to New York from California. Shout out to you, big dog. SQQ is where my weekend came from. <laughs> I love it, Brian. Facts, SQQ. When the market come back, we can't short, we can short it. Boom. Yes, yes. Above the 200. Very good. Y'all were listening. Y'all were listening. All right. You know what? I do need to get water. I'm going to, listen, I'll be back in, in four minutes. 
You guys have a conversation with each other. What I will leave, I will, you know what? Before I leave, I'll leave a, a work, I'll, I'll leave an, an, uh, an assignment to do. I'll leave an assignment for you, like a, a, a little a question for you to do. Here. All right, because I, I can't hold it any longer. I really got to drink some water. I, I'm super thirsty. But you guys have homework to do. Not homework. You have an assignment in the class to do. So here you go. Uh, let me write it. Let me write it. Let me write it. Let me write it. Let's go. This is the VWAP. This is the VWAP neon green. This is the 200 EMA. All right, there you go. Um, I'm, let's go over the work, and I'm gonna go. I'm, I left you. This will take you like four minutes to do. So I'll be back in four minutes. Where should you buy? When it comes to buy, you can say shorting or long. Specify that, okay? Where should you sell? Taking profits. Make sure to answer why. I want exact. Why did you pick whatever A B C D? Whatever you picked, tell me why. Um, do it in your notebooks and then enter it there in a complete sentence. Please don't flood me with four different answers. I'll be right back. Do it in your notebooks or type it, but type the full answer for everything in one and I will read it. I'm going to leave two people in charge. My monitors, Eric. Eric is going to be left in charge and Sal, you too. Make sure everyone knows what they need to do. I will be back. Do I need to zoom out? Hold on. Looks like the question can't be seen. Let me double check that and I'll zoom out if I have to zoom out. Hold up. It's a little out. Let me zoom in. Boom. All right. I'm going to go get some water. I'll be back. Do me a favor. Do, stay on topic. I'll be back. Boom. God damn, I'm thirsty. Jesus.
All right, we are back. We are back. What's up, everybody? All right, let's go. Drop your answers. Everybody, drop your answers in the comments. Let's go. Let's see how you guys replied. Let's rock and roll. All right, let's let's hold it down. Let's start. All right. Thank you guys for your patience. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we hit 120. That means I will be going over Bitcoin. Thank you guys for liking. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's scroll up. Let's scroll up. Uh... Okay, I bought TQ for a swing trade over the weekend into Monday. Was wondering what your thoughts were. Um, Storm, I got you. I'm going to go over TQ. I'll go over that when I go over it. I'm on Twitter to follow projects only, so it's no problem. I'll make an IG for you when you switch back. Perfect, final. Go, go, go. What are what are the support resistance levels? I got you in a second. Hold on. Eric, uh, what was the support? Okay, Eric, we got this room under control. <laughs> Thank you, Sal. Students, any questions on the homework? Buy at one. Okay, let's see. All right, let's go. Okay, I got it. All right. Join late. What's the ticker? It doesn't matter, but the ticker is... At, it doesn't matter what the ticker is. Um, all right, let me go over this. Let's do it. So now the question is, where should you buy? All right, so where should you buy? Going long or short? So if you are going short, so let's do it, right? Let me change the color. Let's go pink. No, let's go baby blue. Okay. So A, if you put A to buy short, why? We'll talk about that in a second. B, so this one is tricky. This one's a trick. Trick one, why? This is after hours. I wouldn't advise you to do it. I don't think you should do B, the risk is too great. That hard work, if you traded all week, if you traded the stock market all week, and then you took a bad swing trade that you shouldn't have traded and you broke your game plan because you thought it would rally and you lost all your gains, drop it in the comments. How many of you did that? You had a phenomenal week and then you did a move that you knew you shouldn't have done and you lost it all, plus more. Tell me in the comments, watch. Watch how many people will agree. All right, next one, C. C is... You will be buying going long. Why? I'll ask you guys in a second. And D is another trick question. It's the same thing that I said here. I'll write it again. After hours. The risk is too great. So let's see what you guys said. So A should have been a short. C should have been a long. So now let's see what you wrote and then we'll talk about it. Let's go. Buy above C, sell D. Buy above C, sell at D. Okay, all right. We are live, join late. What ticker, Solomon? It doesn't matter. I will sell at D because it's consolidating and it's overextended. Very good. Sal, what was the ticker again? Doesn't matter. Lisette, what's up, baby girl? Buy at C because it's above the VWAP and the 200 support and sell at D because it's consolidating. You got it. Somebody, uh, Lizette, you've been reading the book? I'll be seeing Lizette in a month. She's coming to the November event. She's coming to the November event. I love it. All the way from North Carolina. Very good. Make sure you give an explanation on why you chose. Thank you, Eric, for helping. Thank you. No ticker. Thank you, Sal, for helping. Julie, I would buy at C once it crosses over the 200, as that's a good, strong level, and I would sell at D because it's going very good, Julie. Excellent. Buy at C, sell at D, it's above the VWAP and the 200 running. Just an example, ticker doesn't matter, yep. Uh, Brian, short at A, sell at B, long at B, sell at D. Why? It is what the chart says. <laughs> sell? I called Sal, baby boy, he goes, professor, no. I'm like three times older than you, no. Call me big boy. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. I think I have that recorded somewhere. Oh shit, speaking of that, I gotta get my recordings from my, my video editor. Um, I like your answer, Julie. Nice as that, very well. Look at Sal supporting his classmates, I love it. 
Bodega, nice crib when it takes you minutes to get the kitchen. <laughs> Man, I don't want to talk about it. I don't like. Uh, I don't like talking. Yeah, evil eye is a real thing. Go search that up. Stop telling people about the nice things you have, man. I'm telling you. Hi, Professor. Whoa, Fran's in the building. <laughs> What's up, Fran? Long time no see. Um, what you doing here, girl? <laughs> Great to see Fran. Um, Heichman, that'll depend on what happens. If we get a pullback, we're getting in for a sell. One penny above VWAP and get out at C. Or second, possibly short at D and buy at C. Okay. Professor, I stepped away for water break. Yep. Let's set. Thanks, Al. Glad you're in charge. Love the encouragement. <laughs> Yo, I got the best students in the world. Not a single negative comment here. I guess Richard took a break today. All right. Uh, stay on topic, peeps. Thank you, Eric. On 30 by a... Huh? Same thing I was thinking, Liz. Of course, we are a family. Uh, shorted at A. Once it broke the VWA, buy to cover B. Buy above C and then sell... Where is everyone from? Hawaii, Angola. <laughs> Sal went, Sal changed the topic. Say one thing you love about the professor. Sal, I appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's nice. That was nice, Sal. Yo, Sal, shout out to you, baby boy. I hope you come to the seminar, Sal. I really do. That way you get full access to me. So I could really help you. Professor with uh, VWAP and 200 EMA is the same. Is that considered confluence? Yep. His honesty, buy C, sell D. Sal, you buy DKNG at 1112? Lena, <laughs> Lena coming in with the marijuana stocks. Lena, how high are you right now? Uh, <laughs> buy long at 6201, sell at 62, okay. Sell A, buy B, C, bodega. Come on, I want a deeper explanation. Sell at 68, anyone, stop loss at 55. Uh, friend with the fire, buy C. Colors in a show on my screen. Brian, that's weird. Professor's humility is everything and his passion for the shared knowledge. Thank you. What's up? All right, good. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. So you guys got it. A, no one said it, but it's okay. Overextended. Overextended. Way overextended. And the candles were struggling here at this level of resistance. Pull back down. B was a trick question. After hours. C, as you guys said it well, above the 200, above the uh, VWAP rally. Once it starts going sideways or breaks the XYZ pattern and there's a ZYX pattern, then you do that. If you don't know what that is, it is in... No, Lena, I know that DKNG is not a weed stock, but I know you love weed stocks. I'm talking about you, 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 you. What's their ticker? Her favorite one that she's fully loaded on? Come on, brain. Tilray and all the other ones. I know that, woman. I know DKNG is not a weed stock. I'm trying to say that you are a weed stock lover. Plus, you love smoking. You're probably high right now, girl. <laughs> I'm tweaking. Yo, I don't think I've showed anyone this. Yo, let me show you something on the fifth edition. That you guys probably haven't seen. Check this. How the hell's the book about scalp training? I got examples on how you should take scalp trades. Right here. This is a new chapter. Right here. Examples of long, short, and breaking it down with arrows. How to do it. Boom. Boom. All right. There you go. There you go. All right. So good job, people. Good job. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's move on to the next one. That ticker was SQQQ. So boom. Man, this thing is just rallying and rallying and rallying. All right. As you can see, it is at a level of resistance that it's stuck at 64 right here. The next level we are going to is easily $73. Yeah, you heard right. You heard right. If this market tanks, this will be 70 in the $70. Before you can blink, it'll be in the $70 range. There you go. There you go. Grades, you guys did very good. A lot of you got golden, uh, golden stars. There's 123 people walking. Majority of the people did not even take actively engaged in their learning. I've been slacking, Professor, but I'll spend all day reading your fifth edition tomorrow. Lisette, you should. I want you to read it every night before you come because you're coming into New York. You're coming into the in-person, so you have my attention. You'll be at the party bus. You'll be with me in New York. You'll be with me at Cook Junkie Cookies. The people at Zoom won't have me. So you want to have as many questions as humanly possible. Boom. Boom. And for all the people, like I was trying to say, there's 123 people watching and that many comments only. 
Y'all are not actively engaged in your learning. You could have tried. For those that said, well, I don't know. You could have tried. If you were wrong, you would have learned. Well, I don't want to look dumb. This is a digital classroom. Nobody knows who you are. And majority are using fake names anyway. So at the end of the day, you need to take initiative into your learning. It would have helped you to be actively engaged instead of sitting there and just watching me. You're not going anywhere by just watching me. You need to get actively engaged and ask deeper questions. You have my full attention. Because once I leave from the live shows, I don't, a majority of the time, it's not going to be me replying to you. It'll be people that I've hired that reply back to you. Unless you're a mentorship student. So remember that. Stop being a spectator and get in the damn field and take action. All right. So there's that. SQQQ. Boom. All right. Next one. Let's go. Webs. What the hell is this? Okay. Bears 3X. There we go. There we go. Same thing here. Where's the EMA? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Where's the EMA? What the hell? There's no EMA here? There we go. All right. All right, let's look at it. Ticker is... W E B S on the daily. Again, as you can see, whenever you ask me, professor, should I buy? I'm bullish. Always check above the 200 EMA. Yep, it is. Now, here's the thing that I want you to understand. I'm going to zoom in on that. Zoom in on, I'm going to zoom in on this. You want to buy as close as humanly possible to the 200. As of now, it is overextended. As of now, it is too far away. And as you can see by this candle right here, wicks on both sides, there is weakness and looks like a reversal might be in play soon. So keep that in mind. The risk is too great. You have to learn to be the spider and have patience and wait to get there. Wait to get there. Remember that. So the risk on this is too much. Resistance, resistance right there. So it is struggling. You're going to see a pullback and then probably another rally as the market falls. This is an inverse version of the stock. So keep that in mind on this one. Boom. So let me give you... This is 34. We're at 46 right now. We are struggling in the 40 range. You can see a resistance at 45. It's wicked above and then it pulled right back down and closed below. You want to watch this in the 40s. You want to watch the pull back down to the 40s on this bad boy. So boom. But a better ticket would be SQQQ. If we're talking about inverse ETFs, again, do I have this one? I don't think this one is in my book. If it's not in my book, then I don't like it. Nope. I have 10... In my inverse ETF chapter, I have 10 of my favorite ETFs inversed. If it's not in there, then I don't like it. I don't like it. So boom. Yeah, I'm biased, baby. Yeah, I'm biased. Let me answer some questions. Um, you all get an F for fantastic job, <laughs> Eric. What ticker is that? I said it already, Sal. Webs. Damn, I got coal. I have a Google Doc of questions. Very good. I love it, Lizette. But yo, by the way, everyone that's coming to the mentorship program, seminar in November, please do that. I like that. Have a Google Docs on your phone or your notebook of questions for me. You have, you literally have my full attention. So I like that, Lizette. Good job. Smart thinking. Do your book come digital? Well, if yes, big man, it's digital and physical. If you're a mentorship student, you get the digital for free. Excuse me. Got to catch a flight, but I'm delisted to the video at the airport. Nice. Get active, people. What the hell is webs? 
Do the fifth edition digital answer that already? Won't the price above the 200 cost more? Well, yes, yeah, Sal. Yeah. Plus, webs is 3x time. It's leverage. It moves three times. What works, works. That chapter is awesome. Has anyone looked at the ticker lace? 3x will get you clapped real quick if you're on the wrong side. Exactly. So you have to make sure. I like that. It You get clapped three times faster. So you want to make sure you buy when it's pulled back. Not when it's already rallied so much. The risk is too, it's not worth it. It's, the risk is not worth it. So there's my two cents on webs. All right, next one. Amazon. It's crazy to see Amazon at 100 when they did the, the split. It's crazy. All right, here we go. All right, Amazon. Boom. Same procedure. It is also tanking with the spy. It is headed downwards. It is headed downwards. We are going, if you're looking to be a buyer of Amazon, you want to wait for 101. You want to wait to buy Amazon at $101. One of the strongest levels of... One of the strongest levels of support. How do I know? Past, 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 past. Past movements, 101 if you're a buyer. Anywhere below that, even better. But remember, don't just buy if it hits 101. See how the candles react. See how the candles react when they get to 101. Because as the way the market's going, it could fall way past 100. Who wouldn't mind buying Amazon at 90 or 80 or 70? Come on. Come on. Come on. Like, boom. Like, boom. Keep that in mind. I need to invest with you. Miss Turka. Again, read the banner down below. What do you call that thing at the bottom, guys? A banner? The thing that's just going down. Join the, you know, saying what it's doing. What is that called? I think it's called a banner, right? A live banner. Um, just read that. I'll tell you what to do. First, free course. Then my book. Then sign up for the mentorship. Follow that progression. Follow that progression. Don't just sign up for the mentorship. I don't need your money. I'm almost sold out of the November one anyway. And the next one, I don't even know when the next one will be. There's another one in December, but that's only for mentorship students as of now. Only for them live in, with me in person. So boom, keep that in mind. You wanna learn, you wanna make sure you know someone and their style um, meshes with you before you even give them a penny. Remember that. Um, would you buy at 34? That, I, I'm not buying that one. Is the seminar going to be live? I live in Florida. Yes, Storm, it's live. It's live on Zoom. And, or in person for three days in New York. You said a couple weeks ago it was going 100. Uh-huh. And it's still going. I love it. So shout out to you, Sal. Shout out to you. I love it when you guys know that I said something and it actually happens. And you're like, yo, he did say that. Professor, if the candles are too far from the 200 EMA, isn't good to take position and ride the pullback? Or just wait for the pullback? Then So, Diana, you would short it. What you would do is... So, Diana, here's the thing you would do. Short below support. Sorry. Yeah, support. Support becomes resistance. No, let me write resistance. That might confuse people. Short below resistance or short below the 200 EMA. You could short when it's super overextended. But just remember, the risk is a little great. The risk, you're just taking on a little more risk. If you want to put in a smaller position and then um, add to it as it's collapsing, you could do that. Boom. Assuming we're going down, a short towards 101 is fair assumption on Amazon? Yes, Eric. Do you use the 9 and 20? And Not anymore, big man. Not anymore. I used to. Not anymore. I'm able to take much longer trades when I got rid of the 9 and 20. Sell many then said Amazon at the price many times. Okay, boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right, next ticker. I'm done with Amazon. It is headed to the downside. Next one. Oh, PLTR. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. PLTR was flowing very nicely.
and now it is coming back down. What a beauty of a stock. What a beauty of a stock right there. Boom, boom, boom. BLTR. You want a nice gentle mover, long, short, doesn't matter. Here it is. Respects support resistance, respects the trend lines, respects everything across the board. This is your game plan right here. Across the board. It right now is burning with the market, which is good. Let it fall down. Let, let's get it even cheaper. Let's get it below $7, baby. Let's get it below $7. Let's get it below $700. Sorry, $7. Let's even pull up the RSI MACD. Look at it. Let's go to the higher time frame. It looked like it was about to go, but then the spy said, no bueno, and brought it right back down. The spy said, hell no, come back down, which is good. Again, I'd rather have this be as cheap as humanly possible. I do not want it to go back up above the tens. I want it to stay as low as it can. So Diana, as you can see, Diana, see this? Perfect short below the 200. That's why I did a nice short on this because I saw that on the higher time frames it was below the 200, so my short had a higher probability of success. And there you go. Does it always know? Does it always know? But as long as you understand that, you know you have that in play with the spy next to you. With the spy next to you. Always have the spy next to you while you're trading. Boom, boom, boom. Remember that. So this thing right now is just battling itself in this range. Let's see. Let's keep it in the sevens. This likes to bounce. From the low sevens to the high sevens. The low sevens, the high sevens. Likes to breaks the eights and then comes right back down. It's struggling. Right now, it is struggling to break. It's finally broken down. But if you notice, for the longest, PLTR was going sideways. It looked like it wanted to break the 820s. It was trying so hard to break over the 820s and it failed miserably and the collapse. Which is lovely. The smile on my face, man. I'm going to take Sal's advice. It's stuck in my head now. Let's see. Uh, let me see. I make an appointment to the spa for the weekend. Let's see. I might just do that. I might just do that. I need to reward myself. All right. So there's BLTR. There's BLTR. If you haven't traded it, go trade it. It's lovely. All right. Next one. What the hell is Peggy? Pineapple energy? <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. What the freak is this? I've never seen this ticket before. All right. Someone called it on my Twitter, so I'll do it. Whoa, this thing is rallying. Oh, yeah, the energy sector's rallying lately because of what's happening with oil, Putin, Saudi Arabia, all that nonsense. All right. So now the ticker is, damn, where did this go from? This went from 76 cents all the way to $7. My God. All right. Should you buy here? Hell no. Looks like this is ready to short. You know what? Let me write this down. I was going to say I put it in close friends, but I can't even do that. Hold up. Let me... Guys, give me two seconds. I'm going to put this into my notes. I do want to look at this on Monday. For a short. P-E-G-Y. Ticker. Short. Analysis. All right. Who is texting me? Okay. All right, let's go. So this looks good, but let's look at it a little further. Let's look at it a little further. Let's see. Right now it's at 521. Where's the 200 on this? $3 to the downside. Has a strong level of support at 323. This will be like a micro short. Like $10,000 down like 20, 30 cents. Okay. All right. What's the history on this bad boy? Hold up. Is this a bump and dumper? 
Let's see. This thing has barely any volume. How much volume is on this? Five million today. Average 35. Okay. Interesting. Candles look weird. It has like a pump and dump type of look to it. All right, cool. All right, Peggy. Be careful with this one. If you're going to short, just have a stop loss above the 200 at a key level. But go ahead. There's nothing wrong with small positions on a short on this thing. Boom. All right, there you go. Long term, hell no. Short term, why not? All right, next one. CCJ. CCJ, non-energy minerals. All right. Let's check it out. Okay. This thing, wow. While the market is tanking, this thing is just rallying. It's above the 200. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Very predictable stock. As you can see, down, up, down, up. Now it's down right now. Let's go further into this. It is holding at one of its strongest levels of support above. Let's see. Let's go further into this. Oh, it broke it. It's hanging on to it in after hours. Yeah. Is this dead? No, this looks like it always dies and it comes back to life. This is nice. All right, let me explain that. What do I mean by that? Let's go. Ticker is CCJ, ladies and gentlemen. The ticker is CCJ. As you can see, I like stocks that do this. These are predictable patterns and it's only 21 bucks. And right now it has fallen. Keep this on your watch list. Cause as you can see, every time it falls, it rallies. Every time it falls, it rallies. Look, just look at the past performance. Rally, rally. Every time. This reminds me of freaking Matic, the crypto coin Matic. I like this ticker. I like this ticker. If you want a good ticker to scalp, what's the price, daily movement on this? The daily movement on this is from 21 to 12. Okay, so it's good for a newbie. It just moved 60 cents. This would be good for a new trader. So if you're a new trader, keep your eyes on CCJ. Make your levels for CCJ. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. All right, let me read some of the comments. God damn it. I haven't read any of these comments in a while. PLTR needs to break out. Sal, don't ever say that again. <laughs> don't ever say that again. Professor, do you ever use the ruler on trading me to determine how long a stock will pull back to the 200? A ruler? No, I just look at it myself, Ronald. I can just do that myself. Ronnie, he doesn't use the nine. Thank you, Sal. I like the way you had everyone buy Medic at 72 cents and told them to sell at 70 cents. Thank you, Julian. That was a while ago. Yeah, thank you. This is SpongeBob's ticker. Huh? Oh, the pineapple one. <laughs> I got you. I want to trade PLTR with you. Baby boy, we'll do it. Once you become a mentorship student, you can come to the live trading for December. Five days. We're going to do trade. All of us will trade side by side. 20 students max. So hyped for that. So hyped. Finally. Praise God. I want to trade you, okay? It happened just like you said. Support, resistance, technical, shoot, shot. Thank you, Julian. Thank you. Everything I, you know, I say it, you know, you could do it too. I professor stumbled today, first time on your live stream. Really liked it. To get some base covered, I am not able to find the free course. Andy, everything is down below. Everything is under me, literally under me. Just follow those directions. You will find it, my friend. Sal, can you help me? It's on his website, Andy. Link in the bio. Thank you guys for helping. Professor the Goat. Can't wait to see you back on Instagram. Jacob, oh, I don't, I don't want to go back. Jacob, I don't want to go back. Really like the banner at the bottom of the screen. Thank you, Defactor. Don't know how my live paused and not sure how, how much missed. It's okay. The blazer is sharp, sir. Thank you. I just got the buttons done. I'll show you. I just got this back from my tailor. I usually like to change up the buttons. This one had gold buttons. I'll show you. 
I don't have any pants on, so let me just go a little bit. Silver buttons. I just got this back from the tailor today. But thank you. Appreciate it. All right, let's get back to the work. Let's get back to the work. All right, so there's my two cents on CCJ. All right, next one. What is this one? A, G, and C. What is this? Finance, investment, real estate. Okay, this must be tanking. Yep, it is tanking. All right, here we go. Let's go to the higher time frames. Woo! Woo! All right, same thing. Below the 200, as you notice, once it got below the 200, the collapse started. Once it got below the 200, the collapse completely started. As you can see, the candle just became more and more aggressive. Same thing here. Same thing here. Look at that drop, look at that drop. Let's see, if you wanna see when this stops, let's see where it will stop. Oh, historically, the last time it was at this level. So this, it only has one level at $6.25. Wait for a bounce at $6.25. But be straight with you, this thing has just crashed. This thing did a side, did a up, and ever since then, it's only gone down. My suggestion is just stay away. It's garbage. It's garbage, it's garbage, it's garbage. So my suggestion is there's better stocks out there. Before someone messages me because they had got offended that I said their stock was garbage, there are thousands of, tens of thousands of stocks out there. You can pick something else that performs much better. It's that simple. Stop marrying your stocks. Yes, I'm married to PLTR, but there's a difference here. When they say don't marry a stock, that example is for swing traders. Don't marry it. Take your profits. With scalp trading, I'll take my profits on a daily basis. On a daily basis. Boom. All right. Next ticker. J Blue. This probably looks horrible. Oh, God damn. God damn, this was the original, man. This was the original. I traded this throughout COVID. I traded this throughout COVID. So this is just bloodshed across the board. It's just, it's just not holding anything right now. It just keeps breaking and breaking and breaking. As of now, it is, how low can it go? That's the question. God damn, all right, let's have the conversation. If this breaks the sixes, this is going to four. How crazy would that be? And then the three. JetBlue is headed on it. It's headed to become a penny stock. JetBlue is on its way to become a penny stock. It just won't stop crashing and burning. That's what's going on. It just won't stop crashing and burning. So boom. If you've been shorting it, praise God on the shorts on this. Praise God. JetBlue held in the eights for the longest. Just like PLTR loves the sevens. It loves staying in the sevens. I'm, I'm gonna make the comparison between JetBlue and PLTR. P, uh, JetBlue is my original stock that I used to trade actively. Now it's PLTR. JetBlue loves the eights. Once that cracked, sevens. Once that cracked, the sixes. Then now we're just headed lower and lower and lower, which is not as bad as it sounds. Just short it all the way down and then ride it all the way back up. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. So that's J Blue right there. Next one. T Q Q Q. All right. So now I'm about to give a lecture, but before I give a lecture on T Q Q Q. All right, listen up, folks. Listen up. This is the lecture I'm going to give, but I'm not going to go too deep into it. I did a live already, and the live is called, if you go to my IG, oh, my. Oh, my. All right, uh, the live is called, shout out to you, baby girl. Shout out to you for that picture. Um, the live is called, come on, brain. Where are you? Where is it? Let me show you a picture of it. I need y'all to go watch it. If you haven't watched this live, go watch this live. Come on. How do we? Let's fix this problem. 
the best ETF to trade invest in. Go watch that, guys. Go watch that. That one, if you're ready for long term and you want to plan, this is a ticker for you right here. This is the ticker for you right here. Where's the pen? This is it right here. I'm not going to go too much into it, but like I said, this thing is on its way down. The levels, 24, 18. It has broken the 18. We're in the 17s. We are going down to the 8s. I am personally a buyer in the 9s. I am personally a buyer. I will be very happy with some TQQQ in the 9s. It goes below that, I'm perfectly fine. I could care less if it goes lower than that. But this is the one you want. This is the ETF you want because this bad boy, if you look at its patterns, if you look at it historically, I want you to tell me, guys. I'm going to leave this right here. Let me make it a little bigger. Let me make it a little bigger. Let me expand because a lot of it is just empty noise. Let me expand it. What do you notice about this ticker? Tell me in the comment section. What do you notice about this ticker? Tell me. Let's go. Professor, what EMA do you use? 200. Big man, 200. I have some shares of AGNC. Got you. Another GP favorite. Got you. Big man speaks. He uses, okay. Big man uses 200. Thank you guys for helping him. Uh, marry your PL, not the position. Exactly. At GP about it. He may grill you. LOL. <laughs> JetBlue is buying Spirit Airlines. I wonder if that will make the stock go up. Best ETF TQ. Already started a small penny TQ. Nice. A little early sell, but it's okay. It's okay. What do you guys notice? Tell me what do you notice about this one? Let me see if I can, can we? Boom. Let's fix the glare. I don't like the edge glares. All right, that's one light fixed. The edge glares are bothering me. All right, there you go. No edge glares. Much cleaner now. Much cleaner. All right, let's see what they're saying. Uh, uptrends about the 200, inverse of SOXS, semiconductor stocks with a lot of lectures. Now, say, so what's your thoughts? Um, Himant, the, again, I'll say this again, it's okay. I am only going over what was in the, the, the what do you call it? My Twitter post. I'm not, I'm not taking a request from the comments. Uh, blow 200 and blood as usual, stage four, follows spy, respect support resistance, downtrend stages, stage four and under EMA, follows the four, bear flag, after bear flag, after bear flag, a pattern, same going on, some going down, I'm seeing it, go up to test 2450, then continue down, thoughts, flattening, going to hit strong support, run above the 200, market stages, you guys got it, it respects market stages, stay all the stages perfectly, and it's clean patterns, clean patterns. When the market was rallying, look how this was rallying so cleanly. That's why. So if you ask me one of my favorite ETFs, right here, right here. This to me is gorgeous. This live will be saved. We can look back in this in a year, two years from now when the market rallies next year. We can look back on this and we will not have this information. This will probably go like this, probably wick down, and then slowly. So if you guys don't ever have to ask or wonder, I am buying at the nines, selling at 90, $100,000 at nine, selling at 90, $1 before, it's a million dollar trade, and then move that over to some crypto coin or something. Uh, what am I going to do? I, I really don't even need the money. Like It's like a joke at this point. I just do this for fun. Boom. So there you go. There's my breakdown for the TQQQ. Right as of now, if you wanted to buy some, you could buy a little like Sal said. I am not because I know we have a lot more to fall. We have a lot more to fall. So there is my breakdown. What's the next ticker? I think this was the last one. This was the last one. All right, we did hit 120 likes, so I will go over Bitcoin. So let's talk about Bitcoin, right? BTC, USD. Yep, 
ETC USD. All right, here we go. So Bitcoin is holding. I'm on the weekly time frame. BTC is holding right now. It is holding. It's not doing anything major, which is kind of scary, weird, whatever you want to call it. The market is collapsing and Bitcoin is just holding. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's oddly a good thing, which is crazy. Because, you know, lately it's been correlating with the spy, which it shouldn't be. Satoshi would be rolling in his grave. I'm pretty sure Satoshi's alive, but Satoshi will be rolling in his grave. It is just holding above the 17,000. It is just holding. The only thing, this is where Kanye should put his money. The banks keep closing on people's accounts. Y'all need to stop putting your money in goddamn Bitcoin. Boom, boom, boom. So this is interesting. Wouldn't it be crazy if the market collapses fully tomorrow? Not tomorrow, but you know what I mean, like in the future. And this just does this, whoop. What it was meant to do, what Bitcoin was ultimately meant to do was this. As the market falls, but again, it doesn't work out right that way, right? Fear and greed control the market. So if you want the levels, I'll give you the levels easy. It is just stuck and holding here. You got 17,580. You got 19,985. And you got 23. 307 it is just holding 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 here and there you go that is the portfolio management live the state of the market live appreciate you all so much for coming and staying with me thank you for the likes thank you for the comments i appreciate you all everything you need is linked in the bio link in the description or just follow the banner under me everything i about me is there it gives you a full breakdown just follow the ticker um, link in the bio for the book. Please start with the free course, then read my book, and then the mentorship in November. And that's a wrap. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Let me know when I drop on my IG, what do you want to learn? I'll drop it on Sunday. So drop in what you want to learn for Tuesday's live. And wait a second. Am I, do I, I have to do like a private live? Who do I have to do a private live with? Hold up. No, that's in two weeks. In two weeks, I have to do a live with Trade Zero. I'll give you guys the link on my Twitter. Trade Zero, the broker, I'm doing a private class for their students. I'm going to let you come to that class too. So I'll post the link. It will be on Zoom, I believe. I believe they do their classes on Zoom. So boom. So go sign up for Trade Zero. Link in the description on my website. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Thank you, everyone. May peace be upon you all. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Catch me on Twitter. And that's a wrap. Let's go. How the hell do I get out of here?